covering news where you live. This is 5 News at 6. First tonight, the Crawford County Sheriff has released new video shedding light on an in-custody death investigation. We first told you about this probe on Monday. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker continues our coverage in the newsroom now with why the sheriff, Catherine, says he released this clip. Sheriff Jimmy DeMonte says his office is investigating the death of Jacob Jones, who died Saturday less than 24 hours after being booked into the Crawford County Jail. Today, the sheriff shared video from inside the Van Buren patrol car that transported Jones and his uncle there. Here is the video of inside the back of the Van Buren police patrol car around 4 Friday afternoon. Jacob Jones is seen on the left and his uncle David Alverson is seen on the right. The pair was arrested on outstanding warrants. You can see both men moving around and then Jones reaching down to grab a can, which the sheriff says contained drugs. Both men are then seen swallowing things. In a pre-recorded video statement released Wednesday, Sheriff Jimmy DeMonte says he has spoken to the medical examiner. While we don't know what type of drugs the man took until toxicology reports are back, the medical examiner confirmed that the bag he swallowed broke open in the man's stomach and the cause of death was drug overdose. Adam Rose, the attorney representing Jones' family, says this is not news to him. Instead, he says the issue is that the sheriff's office employees failed to respond when they were alerted that Jones was having a medical emergency. Well, they still have yet to release the jail footage that shows their officers failing to respond to a medical emergency for several hours. Um, so again, that's just Sheriff DeBonte and, and the Crawford County Sheriff's Office trying to switch the narrative and switch the blame um, when that really shouldn't be the story. Rose says they spoke to witnesses who were in the same jail cell as Jones. All of their stories are pretty much exactly the same. And you have, when you have several people telling you the exact same story, um, it makes us, and, and the fact that Crawford does not want to release that jail footage um, all echoes the same thing, that they just didn't care and didn't want to respond. Van Buren police say before the men were put inside the patrol car, they were patted down and the officer did not find anything on them. There's four or five minutes of them rustling around, moving around, and you're telling me the officer didn't see or hear that or notice any of that. Um, I find that pretty um, doubtful and, and pretty shocking. Rose says the Jones family does plan to file a federal wrongful death lawsuit against the sheriff's office. I reached out to Sheriff DeMonte today requesting an interview and surveillance video from the jail, but I did not hear back. Catherine Gilker, 5 News. All right, Catherine, thanks. In today's press release, the sheriff says if the investigation shows any of his employees violated policy, they will be held accountable.